How you doing guys, Max here. Now, we're here at the Heat MMA Gym down in Antrim with the National Lottery. We're going to showcase some of the projects that the Lottery invest in across Northern Ireland. Now, I hear Ryan Burnett's in here today guys, so we're going to head on in and see what they're up to. We went to the gym and we just got talking to the lads and the, the girls as well and we just started doing a bit of boxing training and just sort of breaking the ice um, for about half an hour or so, 45 minutes. Came back here and it's where we start talking to the talking to the young people and it was it's really getting good once we, we start relating and connecting the people um, they start opening up and it got good. It's been a very positive experience for our young people because Ryan was very open, very honest about his life and his background, was able to tell our young people that he's been in the same situation that they've been in. He's, been, he's made bad choices but the big thing is you make good choices, it's up to you whether you make a bad choice or a good choice so it's been really beneficial and positive for our young people because they can see that Ryan uh, relates to them completely. Me coming down here it just takes a little bit of advice from someone that they look up to to change their ways and it can be as simple as that because it happened to me as a young lad. I mean I got in so much trouble when I was young and I was in, in exactly the same position. It was a big wake up call. I always thought like how can I get how can I be a pro? I was thinking now when you live in a small small town. Then I looked at Ryan and I was like if he, if he done it, I can do it. And he said, I've got the skill, I've got the boxing IQ, so I think I could do it. Like. He was telling us to just keep at school, don't mess up our lives. That he messed up when he was younger, and that he knows how it's like, and then he started making good decisions, and then look where he is now. From sitting there talking to them, I think they're all, I think they're all actually sitting there thinking, you know what, that could actually, this could actually be me here. And it's not obviously, obviously they're probably not going to be a professional boxer, but you know they could make something for themselves, and it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal that maybe they got expelled from school or something. Hopefully, made them realise that there's way more to life, a long life ahead of them, and this is this is a tiny little bad decision they've made, and they've got all, all the time in the world to make to make it up for it. You know. Well, the more places that there are around, the better. And um, the big plus. Um, because we are big lottery funded and the whole project's big lottery funded, it's a, it's a bigger project than just what you see, what you, Ryan saw today. We also have then our plus 16 again, funded by big lottery. So when our, these young people leave um, two years with us, we still stay in contact with them. You know, we need more places like that, that stay in contact with these young people, 16, 18, 20, 22 and people that they know that care for them. The lottery have given their effort, allows these kids somewhere to go, and it allows me to come in and just simply have a chat with them, which might actually change their, their, the course in their life, because it's, it's not, easy, it's not uh, hard to tell that a lot of these kids are heading in the wrong direction, but with the correct advice, they can actually be coursed to the right way, and it's only through this sort of setup that the lottery is doing, that that can actually take place. I think that gets looked over a lot. I mean, people don't really think about that, but when you do start thinking about it, it's so, so important. Because the, the next generation, they are the next generation, do you know what I mean? And the last thing that, the last thing that everyone wants is a kid just going down the wrong path and just ending up either dead or just a horrible life. This prevents it.